Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 Online video. And in this video, I want to help you guys make some serious cash in Red Dead Online. Now, in this video, I want to show you the three best methods that I use to make some serious cash. And I would love to hear what your thoughts are on these methods, or if you guys have another method that works really well for you. Now, in this specific video, we are going to be focusing just on money and by money, I mean what is in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Now, if you guys know, I just recently bought this horse. It was very, very expensive. So if you guys want to buy a horse like this, or if you guys kind of want to be able to buy more ability cards or whatever you desire here in Red Dead Online land, then you guys, these are the best methods that I can have for you guys. But I would like also like to know what you guys do to make some serious cash in Red Dead Online. Now, the first method that I'm gonna be showing you guys is nothing new. Actually, none of these are no new. They've all been featured on my channel at some point or another, but the first one is down in Tumbleweed and it is hunting the cougar. Now, if you really don't know where this specific location is at, it's going to be right here. The cougar is marked over here for some reason, but it's actually gonna be right here. So Tumbleweed is just gonna be down a little bit to the south. So just a little northeast is where we're going to be going. Pretty much straight north of the G and Ridge is where we need to go. So we are pretty much right here where we need to go. So let's go ahead and get our bolt action rifle. This is what I definitely recommend that you use. If you don't have the bolt action rifle, then I recommend that you use a bow and arrow. But all you have to do is point over there and look at that. We have a three star cougar. Now this thing is pretty consistent. It's pretty rare that this thing is never here. And if it's not here, then all you have to do is ride your horse to the end of this little cliff and face that way for like 20 to 30 seconds and then turn around and come back to the spot and guaranteed this cougar will be here. I've used this method so many darn times that you guys have no idea how much cash I've actually made from this specific cougar location. It is insane. Now, I'm going to go ahead and call this cougar. You can see that it is coming towards me. It is a beautiful cougar. And I think, oh, it's even a white cougar. That is pretty rare for me that I actually got a three-star white cougar. That is pretty crazy. But I'm going to go ahead and take it. Awesome. Now, on the way actually over here, I did run into the roaming cougar. So if you guys happen to notice that I do have a cougar skin on the back of my horse. And that's because the roaming cougar just... Happened to pay me a visit right before I started to record. And you know what? I will take the free cash any day. So what we're going to do is just, we're going to go ahead and put this on the back of our horse. But this is probably one of my favorite spots to go to. And all we need to do is just head back over to Tumbleweed, which nobody seems to be anywhere near me, which is absolutely fantastic. There's one person actually right there, and I can't tell where they went exactly. It looks like they headed pretty much south. And all we need to do is take this back to the butcher. Now, in this area, you guys are going to find condors like the one right there. And all we do... Oh, that's a raven. It looked like a condor. Is that a, that's a raven too. So you want to find condors, which that definitely looks like one. And if you can catch them, then that's going to add to your, your pocketbook as best as possible. So let's go ahead and shoot. What? Why did you fall, you crazy condor? All right. There we go. Let's go ahead and pluck this thing. It's probably not a perfect one anymore, but that's okay. It's going to be a little extra cash in our pocket. Unfortunately, I had to shoot it twice. So that doesn't happen very often where you actually have to shoot a condor twice. But there's owls, eagles, hawks, um, all that kind of good stuff in the area. And if you can find these, that's obviously the best thing that you can add to this money method. So all we have to do, head back to Tumbleweed, sell our items make a profit now for our next method we're going to be fishing lake sturgeon from flat iron lake which is in blackwater and it's basically straight across the street from the butcher and all we need to go is right here now you can pretty much do this any time of day but if you don't know the specific location let me pull it up on the map for you so you guys know exactly where to go and this is the location that you guys need to be at now, from here, you guys, uh, I would recommend that you either get the special lake lure or just the lake lure in general. But all you need to do is grab 
your fishing pole and make sure that you attach said lake lure to your line. And then you can see that right there, we actually already have a lake sturgeon spawned in. So I'm going to see if there's any more than just one. Uh, see, all I see is one right now, but we're going to go ahead and give this thing a nice little toss. And what you're going to do is you're just going to slowly start to reel this thing in and you want the lake sturgeon to kind of follow it. And we don't really want it to bite the line until it's really close to the shore. Now, once it gets a little bit closer, all you need to do is hook your fish and control the line just a little bit. Don't let it break. And then now we all have to do is just reel this thing in. And just like that, we're going to get ourselves a nice $7.00. And 25 cent fish which really doesn't take very much time at all to get this is probably the longest part of it the is the animation so we're just going to go in and keep that and then all we need to do is turn around and actually just run across the street right to the butcher now you could probably put one on your horse and then take two at a time if you guys would really like to but it's really not that big of a deal all you have to do is go back across the street and then repeat the process over and over now as you can see we do have another lake sturgeon over there if for whatever reason any lake sturgeon aren't showing up in this area all you have to do is just ride just outside of blackwater and then basically just come right back to come right back to the specific location and i didn't want to catch that fish quite yet because it's not where i need it to be at in order to make this easier for ourselves to make quite a bit of money pretty quickly now that thing did swim pretty far away okay it's out there a little bit further than i wanted it to be but that's fine so we're just going to go ahead and pull this thing in real quick hopefully it doesn't fight us too much here in a second Okay, we just have to make sure that it doesn't break our line. And actually, it, see, you want to try to get the sturgeon a little bit closer to the shore if possible. Come here, fishy, fishy. There we go. Now that we got our second one, we can go ahead and turn this one into our butcher. But that's all you need to do in order to make $7.25 actually relatively quickly. And I've seen people make up to $100 in 15 minutes of their time. Now, that's if you don't necessarily have to go out of town to kind of repopulate uh, the, the fish in the area. But you can make pretty good money here, and it's really close to the butcher. It's going to save you on time, even with the short animations or even having to run out of town. It's going to be quicker than any other hunting location that you would do anywhere else on the map. Now for our last method, you just need to go just north of Rhodes, which is going to be right down here. And there's going to be two different options that you guys can use. You can either come right to this location here, and you're going to find panther and birds and alligators right in this area. Or you could actually hunt just birds and alligators along this bridge right here. Now, I'm going to try going over here to see if the, coo or the panther is here, because the panther is actually worth more than any cougar is and uh, we can start making some pretty good money so i'm going to look in here i don't see the panther it's usually right in here but it's not really showing me what time of day it is either so i gotta let's just go ahead and wander in here we got we got turkey so we can go ahead and take those if we want that would always add um to our money possibility now i do have noticed that when there are deer in the area that the the panther doesn't spawn as much and it seems like the, the the panther does spawn you know later in the evening to about roughly noonish or so i would say is the times of days that i am noticing the most cougar spawnage but if we look over here you can start to see that there are some birds that are actually just chilling out right here we got the spoonbill there and i'm trying to see if there's any over there and i'm not seeing any but there's usually a couple of them that are just chilling out right here. And then there's actually a couple birds that are chilling out right here. So let's go ahead and shoot this guy. Let's see what we get here. I'm actually looking to see if any other ones take off. And I'm not seeing any more take off. So that means there's only the one in the loca this location. But there are lots of alligators. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot this one. I'm going to shoot this one here. 
And I'm going to shoot that alligator right there, right in the face. And there we go. So let's go ahead and grab all of these real quick. And since we actually don't have the panther in this area, we can actually grab one of these perfect alligators to add some more money to our total profit here at the end of the day. So let's go ahead and get this guy. Now, if you find more than, you know, one of these birds here, then make sure that you guys are um, plucking the worst ones and keeping the best ones and mounting those on your horse because that's going to add more profit because you're going to be able to get three more plumes per perfect uh, sp spoonbill or a heron um, whenever the egrets get fixed or you can also get the pelicans as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and skin one of these or all these alligators and I'm going to see kind of what happens with this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the varmint rifle and I want to scare a few of these fish out. And let's see if we can get them to. I, I don't. I would normally run into the water um, to get them to come out, but I am a little afraid to run into there right now just because I think there's a gator in there. If we wanted to, to our fish. Oh god, that just scared the crap out of me. I thought <laughs> it'd be funny if they added like this huge like you know um, snake to the game or whatnot. But we can pick up these these baths here. These are going to give us two bucks a piece for these. But that really is all the time that I have for today's video. If you guys did enjoy these methods, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But let me know how much money you guys made from these three methods. Or if you guys have a better method of making some money here in Red Dead Online. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.